Something that turns up every now and again is uh, a problem of rescaling uh, a drawing. Uh, whether it's a CAD drawing or whether it's an image brought in that people want to be able to take measurements off. And um, it's a very simple thing to do, so I'm just going to show you how it's done. Here's a, a picture that I've just picked up off the internet. It's obviously of a house. Um, it's, uh, I think it was a JPEG. And, um, and it's in Imperial, obviously, because it's American. So, we, if we measure that, that, see that says it's 26 foot so if I right click I pick up my orthogonal measurements if I just measure that very uh, quickly you see that wall there it says it's a thousand one and a half meters effectively just over that well we know it's not one and a half meters because it's 26 foot so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it a little bit more uh, as it should be now I'm going, I've selected the object, I'm going to right click, I'm going to keep, click on this thing here, keep aspect ratio, that means my X and Y sides will increase in size in proportion, which is what I need. So I'll make it something like that. That'll do. Now I'll pick up my orthogonal measurement tool, dimension tool, I'll come in here, I'll click on that, and then on that bring that down. Now it says that that wall is uh, about five and a quarter meters. It's a bit closer but it's not exactly what we want. So we select that where it says five and a quarter and down here it says size X. Inside there I say well you're not that. 26 foot, well a foot is roughly 300 millimeters. I think it's about 302 millimeters but we'll just round it off for simplicity. So if a foot is 300 millimetres, 26 times 300, I make 7,800 millimetres. So in the size X, we type 7,800 millimetres. And that's really what the size is. Now you'll see over here in the scale X box, where you can it's come up the scale I've actually changed it to, from five and a bit to seven and a something. And it's, I've increased the scale by 1.48, about one and a half times. That's about, that seems about right. I'll select where it says scale X, and I'll copy it. Control C, and I've copied that scale. Now I'm going to select the box. I'm going to put my finger on shift and select the dimension. I'm going to right click and make sure keep aspect ratio is on because I'm going to change the ratio of both the X and the Y. I'm then going to post back, paste in, sorry, paste in using control V the scale that I've changed it to and then I'm going to simply hit return. And now the whole thing has changed. So here, so if we take that away now that 26 foot, you know, we said it should be more like 7,800. So I'll pick up my uh, orthogonal tool again. I can't snap to these points because it's an image, but I can zoom in and do it as accurately as I can. There to there, come down 7,797. Well, that's uh, oh, and, and a half, two millimeters out. That's close enough for me. And that's how you do it. So after this, you'd be able to take measurements off anywhere on this drawing, and you could presume they'd be pretty accurate. And that's just, that's all there is to it.